Gino Crosby, Marvel Comics. Stanley is here to see you, sir. Oh, no. Thanks, Shelly. Send him into my office. Stan, come in. Close the door. Gino, I've got an idea. Jeez, Stan, you look a little rough. I've been up for six days straight. Have you showered? Recently, you'd smell like a flood at a used sporting goods store. I've got a new comic character for us, Gino. Hawk Eye. Okay, all right. I like it. Does he have amazing eyes like a hawk? He has average eyes. But his name implies... He can see pretty good. He doesn't need glasses, I can tell you that much. I mean, he squints when he reads, but the kids are gonna love him. Does this Hawkeye fly like a hawk? Takes the bus. Does he shoot lasers that make a hawk noise? He shoots arrows with zero noises related to hawks. Laser arrows? Wood arrows from... His eyes? A bow. He's the best of all the superheroes at bow and arrow, better than even the Hulk. The Hulk never used a bow and arrow. Because he knew he could never stack up to Hawkeye. Best bow and arrowing guy ever. Well, first of all, it's called archery. So maybe he's so good at archery because he's gifted with mutant sonar hearing and he echolocates his targets. No, his hearing is actually really bad. Seems like an unnecessary detail, Stan. Couldn't hear a titmouse fart. I can't tell if that means his hearing is good or bad. It's awful. Picture me, Stan Lee, but with a bow and arrow. Sure, fine, but maybe he's super strong, and so he's able to draw the string back really far on his special adamantium bow. No, he's regular strong, and he got his bow at Walmart. Okay, Stan, Hawkeye sounds pretty shite. Who's gonna buy an action figure for a guy who can't fly to his battles, has no special powers, and uses a medieval battle weapon? Thor has a hammer. I mean, what's more primitive than a hammer? Yeah, but the hammer is in the hands of a god. You could give Thor a moldy dog turd, and he'd be a cooler superhero than Hawk Guy. Hawk I, not Hawk Guy. But he's just a guy. He has literally nothing to do with hawks. He should be called Guy Man. How about Man Guy Hawk? Stan... What happened to you? Your work's been slipping. I mean, you've brought us some iconic characters like Spider-Man and Wolverine. But last week, you come in here pitching Captain Lasagna, a man who was baked into a lasagna by the Green Goblin, who, mind you, has no prior Italian cuisine backstory. And then he scours the universe in search of freshly grated Parmesan. Captain Lasagna would be the first noodle-based superhero in comic book history. Yeah, I can tell your intent on breaking the pasta barrier. Is that why you came in here the other day with the Fettuccine 4? Look, the Fettuccine 4 is comprised of Mr. Fettuccine, the Invisible Fettuccine, the Human Fettuccine, and the Thinguccini. Yeah, unfortunately I remember. Stan, where have you been the past six days? I've been huffing glue and doing karate in my Jeep. And that's where I realized Hawkeye is going to make Robin Hood look like Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, that's a wildly inappropriate comparison. Look, Stan, I'm going to have to pass on Hawkeye. If you don't take Hawkeye, I'm going to teach you a harsh life lesson by killing your uncle. What's with you and the killing uncles all the time? With great power comes great responsibility. I know. To promise to kill a man's uncle to get what you want. You got to stop uncle killing your way at a situation, Stan. You going to give Hawkeye the go-ahead? Yeah, I... Love my uncle. Good. You poisoned my Uncle Jerry when I said I needed a week to mull over the idea of Black Widow. Ah, yes, the Russian stalker. She's an angry prostitute, also known as a prostitute. Yeah, I'm running out of uncles over here. Hi, Shelly. Let's go ahead and greenlight 100,000 copies of Hawkeye. Just put him in a purple and pink Batman suit and, you know, put him on all the cartoons and movies and everything forever. Hawkeye? Does he have eyes like a hawk or something? Nah, it's pure garbage, thanks. Now about that Captain Lasagna. I'm listening. Captain Lasagna enters the Paisanosphere and thinks he's stumbled onto a galaxy made entirely out of Parmesan, but it turns out to be Romano cheese. So he has to contact the Fettuccine 4 to help him build a Parmigiano-meter that's going to be able to read all the cheese string theory in the entire known universe. And Galactus has a mozzarella factory.